Good day, class! This will be a simple tutorial on how we could use Tableau Public to make a visualization of data. First, let us know what is Tableau. Tableau is a data visualization that is used for data analytics and business intelligence. It can create a wide range different of different visualization to interactively present data and descriptively view insights. For further introduction of Tableau, you can look for the link I would provide on our Facebook page. What we are going to use today is the Tableau Public, which is for public use, as the name suggests. Any data saved here would show up publicly on the Tableau server. The first thing we have to do is to look for the data we need, of course, so we have to click Microsoft Excel since that is where our data is. Okay. Look for the file you prepared. Make sure that the file has both qualitative and quantitative data. Once the file has been selected, Tableau will automatically generate the data and sort them according to their fields. Alright, you can see the data here. We have the order date. The region, city, we also have the category, product, quantity, unit price, and the total price. Now, moving forward, we will now move to sheet 1. On this window, you could easily spot the generated data. All qualitative data can be seen on the upper part here, which is symbolized by the blue icons, while the quantitative data or numerical data could be seen on the lower part, which is um, symbolized by green icons. There you go. Quantity, total price, and unit price. To show an example of how we could create a simple analytical graph, let's say we want to see the total prices of each product according to their date of order. So what we are going to do is, of course, first we have to drag order date on the column bar. The same with the product. Okay, so this is where most of the qualitative data are inserted. Well, the total price should be placed on the row tab, which mostly holds quantitative data. But do take note, there are instances blue icons could be placed on the row bar as well. Now you will see the graph, the graph showing the total prices of each product for both year 2020 and 2021. Okay, so but how about if you want to see the total prices for each product by region for both year? So uh, to see that, we are going to uh, click the region, drag it over. Okay, where is the region? Click the region and drag it over color. There you go. Inside the marks tab. Then afterwards, you will now see the distinctions of total prices for each product for both years when they are divided into regions. So here, product, arrow root, all right. Okay, so the blue color represents the east. So, okay, so we only have east and west region here, arrow root. 
can see region is year of date 2020 the total price is 1951 that is for blue well we talk about now as for the orange product same price uh, same year same product but the region is for west and the total price is 709 we could also change the type of charge we want to use okay so we have different charts here but be careful since it will automatically alter your arrangement as it deem fit okay so just like that okay so let's go back again choose the bar graph okay so there you go um, it alters the positioning but it has the same okay it has the same or it has the same um, content for the year 2020 and 2021 next to create the additional sheet click the new worksheet there you go icon on the left bottom of the window this time we would like to see the different category of the products and the total quantity sold for each city okay so click category and then quantity I think we have to on the row side all right and then the product so we have different categories bars cookies crackers snacks but under those they, we have different products banana bran and carrot are under burst category okay so um if you want to see the quality quantity of the product for each category by the date of order you may drag the order date on the color inside the mark tab it will show the different quantity of each product for each year so you can see it there product okay so under bars category 862 okay so you could change as the same time the uh, the type of chart you want to use it is up to you okay all right so uh, let's put it in a dashboard this is a, the, the summarization of charts we have okay just click sheet 1 and sheet 2 and it will automatically shows the last graph we did okay we can resize it actually okay so like that all right and then we uh, we could rename it as well so for this one total prices I think let's type total prices Mm -hmm. okay for the next sheet uh, let's say total quantity all right there you go uh, let's remove your update so yeah there go for us to save it make sure that we have to save it to Pablo public say uh, did they did they click it right okay let's try it again save to pa tableau public as all right so summary of data all right so make sure that you are connected in the internet so it will automatically save and will redirect you to its site then let's wait for a moment here we go while it is reading okay you can see there later on the dashboard you have created we have created yeah and there we have it we already have the data saved at Tableau public 